Hey there guys, and today we're having a look at how to take screenshots on the Windows operating system. So basically guys, um, today we'll be having a look at finding the print screen key on our keyboard and then paint and then pasting it, sorry, into a basic photo editing software such as MS Paint. Now, all you really need to do for this tutorial is be able to copy and paste things, which obviously, you know, we all know how to do, and I'll be running through it step by step. So first thing I want to show you guys is you have to look for something called the print screen print screen key on on your keyboard. Now on my keyboard it's located very close to the F12 key. It seems as if this is the same for the majority of keyboards. So on my actual keyboard, if you go to the F12 key and then go right to key, you'll find the print screen key. Now the print screen key might say PRTSC or PRNTSCN, something like that. But as long as you, as long as you can tell that it's attempting to say print screen, even though even if it has been compressed. So once you've found the print screen key, all you have to do is press it. Now you won't see any real change unless you look really, really closely, like you might see a, a, um, a quick flash on your cursor. So if you press it, you might see a tiny flash on your cursor as the screen refreshes. Now something to note guys is on some laptops you might have to do, you might have to hold down the function key then press the print screen key. Uh, sometimes that's just the way it is with laptops, but um, I assume you would not have to press function, but if the rest, but if it doesn't work after we go ahead and paste it into paint, then you might want to try holding down function and seeing that works. Now guys, we've now taken a capture of our screen, however, we haven't saved it. Now how we do this is we're going to open up a basic photo editing software. Now for me, I'm just going to use Microsoft Paint because this is, this is shipped in with Windows. So I'm just going to search for a program called Paint here. Now, um, guys, before I continue here, I just want to state that this probably works for um, basically all versions of Windows you're probably wanting, running. I believe it works for XP, Vista 7, and 8. Um, I'm pretty sure, it, I assume it worked for, you know, if you're still running something like 2000. But basically, um, now, once we're inside Paint, we want to go ahead and copy-paste. So how we do this is... We either click on the paste button up here, or just in case you're wondering, the keyboard shortcut for paste is actually control C, control V, sorry. So if we hold down control and then hit the V key, it will also copy paste. I'm just going to click on paste here, and as you can see, our desktop has been successfully pasted into paint. So this is now um, inside paint, we can edit things on our desktop. So for me, I'm just going to write, uh, basically, just as a quick example, I'm just going to show you that you can edit it. It's completely fine. I've just scribbled all over my desktop. But anywho, what basically, um, that's about it actually. Once you've clicked on the print screen key, pasted it into something, a photo editing software such as Paint, you can now go ahead and click File, Save As. I'm just going to save it down to my desktop and save it my desktop. Now I'm just going to exit out of Paint. And go ahead and um, open with Windows Photo Viewer. Now the reason I'm doing this is I'm um, on Windows 8. It opens by default with a with a Windows 8, a Metro opener, and I just prefer to just open it Windows Photo Viewer. But as you can see, guys, it's 100%. Um, it's 100% working. And what basically has happened if you've, you've now printed your screen, and also you should note that it is the exact same ratio that you've had, and it's also the exact same resolution. So uh, that's about it. Thanks for watching, and I'll be sure to see each and every one of you guys next time.